American Idol started whittling down the competition in a big way on Sunday after a round of show-stopping performances. I came in like a wrecking ball. I never hit so hard in love. One of the night's lucky ones was 17-year-old Hannah Everhart, who first grabbed people's attention for her uncanny resemblance to Katy Perry as well as her seemingly no-gruff personality. Can you believe you're even here? No, ma'am. But I am. <laughs> but you is. But you is. Just like I can't believe you get ribs at a gas station. But I do. Last week, Hannah made headlines during the duets round when she was paired with Claudia Conway, the daughter of former counselor to Donald Trump, Kellyanne Conway. Together, they performed a cover of Harry Styles' Sign of the Times, which left Claudia packing her bags and pushed Hannah to the next round. I'm going to be cheering for you. You could win this thing. Well, on Sunday's episode, Hannah stepped out of her country music comfort zone and tried her hand at some pop with a rendition of Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball. Oh, you ever did worse? Wreck me, yeah, you. You wreck me. While the performance didn't exactly blow away judges Katy Perry, Luke Bryan, or Lionel Richie, all three judges did see enough potential to push her through to the top 24. At 17, I didn't do the work. So what I wish for you in the future is for you to do the work. Know that all that other stuff, the flair, the character, the sass, when you want to become a real big time star, comes after. So when I see you next time, you promise me some ribs? Yes, ma'am. Great, well then I promise you top 24. The singer was so excited by the news, she jumped right into a pool. I'm talking fully clothed in head to toe denim. <laughs> And while Hannah might be swimming into the top 24, viewers seem to be pretty divided over the team. One fan tweeted that he was, quote, hoping for more fierceness. Another added, bandana Hannah should have been kicked out. While another countered that her growth and confidence is showing. Murphy, we are sorry that we can't take you forward. But later in the evening, there was an elimination that seemingly united all the Idol fans. We're looking out for their best interest, and I, right. think, yeah. I think they really know that, so it's nice to be able to not expect that they're reading our minds, or like we're sitting there trying to tell them the answer, yeah. but we actually get the opportunity to say, and also one last thing. You know? Yeah. After fan favorite Murphy revealed that he has a degenerative eye condition that will most likely leave him blind by the time he's in his 30s, he delivered an original tune titled, Am I Still Mine? I'm still yours. Are you still mine? And despite the sad backstory, his heartfelt performance, and the fact that it was his birthday, the musician still ended up getting the axe. The fans at home weren't happy about it and took to Twitter to let the judges know. It's mental gymnastics yeah. and it's really like, it's the masterclass obstacle course in a crunch period amount of time. I think Lionel said something the other day, you know, you can't let other talent psych you out. That's right. You have to be what you are. And what you are, just because this person may be technically the best singer in all of American Idol, right. they may not have the personality the that factor. you have. Exactly. They, they don't have the X factor. So control what you can control. Handle your business. But Murphy, he took the bad news in stride sharing this snap on Instagram alongside the caption, quote, thank you for everyone that showed faith in me. Though my journey is over on American Idol, I'll still be singing. Tomorrow is a new day and the horizon looks very inviting. 